Vivian, the woman you see on your screen, has become a key figure in the Tate case. Leaked documents have surfaced, shedding light on her involvement as a victim. Recently, Bucharest court documents have revealed exclusive details about the victims in the second ongoing case against Andrew and Tristan Tate. Prosecutors confirmed Vivian's age and details through international sources. The documents show that she was a minor, as indicated by information obtained from letters. At the time she created an account on MyFreeCams, she was 17 years old. Regarding the charges of human trafficking and complicity in human trafficking against the three defendants, the judge noted that these findings align with the victim's statements and data gathered from international letters, as well as written conversations via messaging apps. It seems that the authorities have introduced a new case because they couldn't initially prosecute the Tate brothers on trafficking charges. They have now identified additional victims, some of whom are minors. Tate was not surprised by the emergence of these new cases, given the severity of the first one. I'm not surprised because DCOT are corrupt. Thank God the judges in Romania are balanced because DCOT is a corrupt organization. The prosecutors who are in charge of my case should be investigated for corruption. They laugh and they joke and they say, we've come to take your cars and watches, and they keep making up reasons to keep coming here and stealing from me. This is the fourth time. You have a foreign citizen in your country who's done nothing but say good things for the country, and for the fourth time, DCOT, trying to steal money, steal cars, steal watches, steal things, have come and broken in my house. There is no reason why you take a full-grown man, after putting him through all the things he's been through, then go through his entire life and find every girl he's ever spoken to, the mothers of his children, his yoga instructor, his friends, anyone he's ever been on a date with, anyone, and say they're all victims of human trafficking with no evidence at all, steal all his things, and then throw him in jail. There's no reason for anybody to do that. They're doing it because they're corrupt and they have a personal vendetta against me. And if Romania wants to be seen as a serious country, this is a beautiful place. If you want to be seen as a serious country, you need to have serious law. The woman at the center of the controversy, who has faced accusations of being underage, has been under scrutiny ever since she first crossed paths with Tate during his time on the reality TV show Big Brother. Back then, their private interactions and roleplay were deemed controversial enough to get him removed from the show, damaging his reputation. She has had to defend him on multiple occasions and now finds herself once again in the spotlight amid this latest human trafficking and exploitation case surrounding Tate. Hi. I'm pretty sure many of you have seen a video of Andrew Tate beating up a woman, and I'm pretty sure not so many of you have seen the same woman coming forward with a statement saying it was nothing but a sex play. So here I am again for the second time. Yes, the woman he has beaten up, and the same woman who has made a statement is me. So I'm coming forward for the second time to just clarify and let everybody know it was nothing but a sex play, consensual foreplay that we like doing, that I was into, that I wanted. It was not abuse, there was no physical domestic violence happening, it was a consensual sex play. This is the second time I'm making the statement because I'm getting sick and tired of being tacked, saying I need to come forward again, even though I did, and I don't like seeing injustice of him being called wound beater for the same video that I've already once clarified. It was nothing but a sex play. So, once again, nothing but a sex play, consensual. Thank you. That particular clip has been held against Andrew Tate for years. Despite the fact that the woman involved publicly defended the situation, Tate himself also addressed and clarified the matter. I was on a reality TV show, let me give context. I was on a reality TV show, this is maybe 15, 10 years ago, a long time ago, and a video from me from 10 years ago, hitting a bitch with a belt, came out on the newspaper, right? And when it came out in the newspaper, everyone's like, Tate's a woman beater, he beats woman, look at this man, hit me hit, hit with a belt, blah, blah, blah. And the video is still shared by still people shared. like, by people. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So you were on a reality TV show and a video of you hitting a woman with a belt. Yeah, so video of me hitting a woman with a belt blows up. It's all in, the, this is like 10 years ago before yeah. the internet was big. So it's like English tabloids, blah, blah, blah. blah. Andrew's a woman beater, Andrew's a woman beater. The woman, obviously, now any, once again, this is an IQ test, right? Because yes. any guy who's bad with women would look at it and go, takes a woman beater. Any man who's actually a G, who's been around a little bit, would look at the video and go, man, she loves it. She wants that shit. That's that's just her. Like she's with the big ball. She likes it. A little bit of spanking. A little bit, yeah, you know it's normal, right? But, but, get a flag, but you're gonna get some spanking. But if you're a dude who never gets laid, you can't fathom that a woman would want that. You're like, no, women want to be treated like princesses. I I bought my my crush a cupcake and she replied to my text. Uh huh. So that's they can't fathom it. So really, this is not even IQ test. This is a test of how good you are with chicks. Well, right? what, women do like being treated like princesses in the way that they like being kidnapped by big strong villains. So that is true. Princess Pete. So then 
I'm about to play you a video I made okay. maybe two years after that event. So now it's this eight, is a six year old video. So now, no, so, I think, I think, yeah, I think that event was nine years old. It's notoriously difficult to prove the charges of human trafficking and secure a conviction regardless of the country. Despite this, multiple women have stepped forward to defend Tate, stating they were neither trafficked nor underage. So, why does Tate continue to face such scrutiny? He recently offered an explanation for that. Good news, guys. You're going to jail. That's right. If you're a full-grown man with any semblance of freedom inside of your heart, you're going to spend a large period of your life in jail. We're now entering the point where if you resist the upcoming climate change lockdowns, whatever the fuck that means, you're going to go to jail. If you resist the new COVID pandemic, whatever they're going to call it, they're going to put you in jail. If you resist allowing your son to chop his fucking balls off because he got psyoped by some fucking teacher into changing genders, you're going to jail. If you tell the truth about any of this on social media, you're going to go to jail. If you're a man with any semblance of principle that you stand up for, any degree of traditionalism, any respect for your ancestors and respect for God, you're going to end up going to jail. The worst thing is, if you make a bunch of money and escape this system, if you manage to get rich and get out, ah, the school system turning all the fucking kids gay, I gotta get out of this country, I gotta move, let me get a new passport, let me get rich, let me get out, ah. 10 years later they hit you with financial crimes because you got too rich and now they can't control you, and you're going to jail, the chance of you going to jail is 100%, if you are watching this and you're not prepared to take the long dildo, you are going to fucking jail, we're all going to jail. Everyone's going to jail. Don't want to fight in their war? You're going to jail. Don't want to have a farm and grow your own crops without putting in the chemicals they decide you need to poison the populace? You're going to jail. Don't want to bake a cake for those two husbands? You're going to fucking jail. Don't worry. We're all going to jail. Everyone's going to fucking jail. The world's going to become one big communist jail. It's never going to end. Because what do governments want? Governments only ever want one thing, which is more power. Have you ever seen a government take a law away? Because they pass new ones every fucking day. And we're getting closer and closer to communism as the days go on. And there's going to be a huge super jail. And we're going to live in it. And we're going to sit there. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny about the super jail? They're not going to let us eat for free. They're not going to put us in there for free because if they did that, they wouldn't be able to afford it. So in this super jail, we'll have jobs and the job will get currency. And that currency will be just enough for us to pay for our house and have food to eat. And we'll have to sit there as a slave doing something we don't want to do. And, and the money that we earn will be just enough for our meager survival. And then we'll sit there obeying, doing exactly as they say to us. Otherwise, our conditions get even worse. We're already in jail. I genuinely think that authorities will keep presenting new cases and accusations until one finally results in a conviction. The primary goal seems to be getting the Tate brothers behind bars. Regardless of what charges they bring forward, the aim is simply to see them imprisoned.